In this class, let's discuss about uh, the speed control methods of a DC motor. So as we discussed in the previous classes, the speed of a DC motor will depends on back EMF and the field flux. So we can have the equation of speed. We can have the speed equation of the DC motor as N is directly proportional to EV by 5. Two parameters to control the speed of DC motor. From this equation, there are two parameters to control the speed of the DC motor. The first parameter is back EMF or another parameter is the flux and we can also note down n is equal to some constant k vb can be write as v minus ia r a by phi so i can take this v parameters also i can take to control the speed of the dc motor so from this there are mainly three methods to control the speed of the dc motor First one is flux control method. So by controlling the flux, I can control the speed. So N is inversely proportional to the flux. N is inversely proportional to the flux. That means when I increase the flux, I can decrease the speed. If I decrease the flux, automatically the speed will be increases. So how can I increase or decrease the flux? So the flux is product produced because of that shunt field current so i can control the current by using some resistor or some variable resistor if i vary the resistor i can control the current flowing through that winding so if i control the field current automatically the flux will be controlled the one of the method is field flux control method so if i control the field flux automatically the speed will be reduced are increased there are mainly three types i can control the speed by varying the supply voltage automatically so the supply voltage v if i reduce or increase i can control the speed flux controlled method and by varying the armature voltage and by varying the armature resistance so back emf will be controlled by using armature winding resistance so i used one two resistors one is at armature side and one is at field winding side let's see here flux controlled method the magnetic flux depends on the current flowing through the field winding so let's me let me draw here the diagram so this is the armature supply voltage V and supply current I this will be the armature resistance this is the field winding if I add one rheostat and connect it to this terminal and this will be ISH yes rheostat so variable value so when the rheostat is at minimum position the maximum current will be flown if the maximum current is flown through this field winding the maximum flux will be produced and that maximum flux will causes the reduced speed very low speed when i am increasing the rheostat value or resistance value the flux will be reduced so that the speed will be increased by using this flux control method I can only have above rated speeds. So by using this flux control method, when the rheostat is in minimum position, more current will be produced and more flux, so minimum speed. If I reduce the, sorry, if I increases the resistance, then the speed will increases and it will reach us to maximum value. From this, I can conclude this flux control method from this we can obtain the above rated speeds from its normal range. Normal range, we can have above rated speeds. 
next next method is armature controlled method in the same way i can have armature rheostat and this is thermal voltage v i value i a and this will be the front field current the speed of the dc motor can be controlled by controlling the armature resistance to control the voltage drop across the armature so if i control this voltage drop i can control the speed if the voltage drop is increased i a or a increase so that n will reduce why because if it is increased automatically this term will decrease if this term is decreased automatically speed will decrease how can i increase this i r a drop by increasing the resistance connected in series with the armature so this is the armature extra resistant connected if it is in the minimum position low voltage drop then maximum speed if i increase the resistance automatically the reduced speeds so in the above method flux control method we can obtain the above rated speeds from its normal level from this armature controlled method we can have below rated speed from the normal levels suppose 1500 rpm is the normal speed level if i want to increase the speed of this dc motor i can use the flux control method if i want to reduce the speed my requirement is has to be below rated speed then i can use a armature control method apart from these two method another method is there that is when speed is controlled by regulating the voltage while maintaining the constant field is called voltage control method so another method is the voltage control method in this method i should maintain the field as a constant field flux or field current as a constant if i increase or decrease so by reducing the voltage supply level so if i reduce the voltage level supplied then automatically the speed will be controlled so for this to maintain the field winding as a constant supply then we can use the separately excited machine and one more best method to control the supply voltage is wall linard method wall linard method is the best method to control the speed of the dc motor so in this method the field flux or field current will be maintained constant and whatever the supply voltage is given to the armature will be varied let's see about wall linard method so this is the wall linard system so in the wall linard system we have to control the dc motor speed so this is the motor i have to control the speed and i have to give variable supply to this motor to give variable supply i can use the dc generator so this is the generator is given supply to this motor and variable supply to run this generator a another motor will be used here okay if if i have a dc supply then i can use a dc shunt motor if i don't have any dc supply if i have only ac supply or three phase ac then i can use three phase ac induction motor so that is another level suppose if i have dc supply i can give a dc supply to this motor and this shunt field winding and from this i can have a generator how can i control the output of generator i need to supply variable voltage to the motor so that i can control the speed of the dc motor how can i supply the variable voltage from the generator by using this field regulators from this field regulators i can control the output of this generator output of this generator is nothing but a generated emf that should be in the variable nature that variable voltage has to be given to this motor and this field has to be constant for this motor so 
that field is directly given to DC supply. So that will be constant. So what we are wearing here, whatever the electrical energy given to this motor through this generator is varied by using this field regulators by maintaining field as a constant field supply as the constant so from this we can also have if it is a if suppose i if i don't have any dc supply directly so i can use this ac motor three phase ac motor to this generator so what is the input for generator it is nothing but a mechanical energy so i can have mechanical energy from this ac motor if i have generator by using these regulators i can control the voltage levels input to this motor which is to be speed controlled so we have to control this speed of this motor so by controlling this voltage automatically i can control the speed by maintaining field coils to the dc supply external dc supply so in this way we can have the speed control methods of a dc motors so this is the method which is suitable for wide range of speed from standstills to high speeds in the flux field flux control method we can have above rated speeds in the armature control method we can have below rated speeds but here in this overly linear method we can have any level of speeds from standstills to high level so this is the one of the advantages of this world linear method but initial cost is very high because another generator and another motor is required but the efficiency is very very high when compared to other methods so extremely good speed regulation good speed regulation means there is very less difference between from no load to full load that is called speed regulation so with this we completed the speed regulation of a dc motor in this dc motor subject we discussed about construction applications the principle of operation back emf and significance of back emf and then we have discussed about the armature reaction how the armature reaction uh, armature mmf will be weakens the main field main field mmf after that we discussed about speed and speed regulation of the dc motor and finally we discussed about the speed control methods of a dc motor with this under basic electrical engineering dc motor concept is completed right